Good morning, everybody. It's Wednesday of Chaos Week. I'm already zombified out. I feel like I need to drink a lot more shots of coffee. There's my lovely assistant. Hi, good morning. How are you doing today? I'm well, thank you. My body is just physically yeah. exhausted and I'm starting to get mentally exhausted. Yeah. So I'm gonna have to find thing. some more rest before Friday for sure. Cause Friday and Saturday are nuts. Uh -huh. Yesterday was full of drama and a lot of weird things. Let me check the like... internet. Internet's still fine. We had internet issues last night. I was stressing out over that. Yeah. Things things that shouldn't be happening are happening. Oh, we're, running, we're running out of helmets because of our helmet campaign. <laughs> so asking a student to say, yeah, we want you to sign this pledge. We're going to give you a free helmet. And then they sign the pledge and then we're like, we don't have um, we're low on helmets. <laughs> We don't have, so like literally we don't have helmets. We, but it's not true. We just don't well, have the, the helmet the color, that they want. The color they That's want. true. And I want to be able to provide the helmet that they want, mm -hmm. but the truth is mm -hmm. at least at least until we get a reorder or get a restock, they're just we going should. to have to select from what we have available. But um, we did open it from the half helmet to the three quarters. Yes, we opened. did. So that was a good, good choice on your part. So Yeah, because I want to put helmets on heads and I don't so. want the reason to be, oh, you don't have the color or size that I need or want. But you just what else happened? Oh, ADD123, the um, license plate system went, went down, down yesterday, so we weren't able to make license plates <laughs> for our customers. And then who was that the went guy? down? We had the, the rain was spotty all day. Then we had um, the inspector. Oh, we, then we got audited. Yeah, so <laughs> we then, <got> audited. <laughs> yesterday, we're hoping that today goes a little bit better than yesterday. So I have a filter on. Sorority row. What does swipes mean? Swipes is oh, how they, many they times they no the swipes is how many times they've like when you're when you're selecting a filter yeah. and you see and you see it they're at, they're at least seeing it. I'm getting those impressions and I mean eight eight thousand times from eight thousand uh, and more more than likely students just in that short period of time is is good. See, this is kind of the opposite, right? So mm -hmm. the one here at the shop has been used 36 times. It's only been swiped past 190 times because there's not as many option. here. There's not, yeah. right? There's not as many filters here. Yeah. So. But of the people but, that see it. Right, so the people that are viewing it on somebody else's story, you know, a couple thousand. So and we'll see, because I have, like I said, we have a couple on the dorms. Mm -hmm. Right, or I put one. Oh, I put one on Rawlings and Broward. I think Beatty's like map is weird, so I, I didn't really do there. But um, oh, in the standard. So we'll like as those. I those aren't activating yet because their move-ins are till the end of the week. But when they activate, we'll check in in a week and see how well they're doing. And then, I mean, so I'm getting an e emailed by the alligator right now for the classifieds, because I've always had, in the motor scooter section of the classifieds, uh, you know, some information there, logo or something. Snap code. I put the snap code there. Yeah. But I mean, dude, it's like, you know, with my discount, like it's like $600 for my ads for the semester. I'm just like, dude, like, dang, like, oh. do I want to keep spending that? I'm like, I would rather, spend the money on social it's just i'm constantly having that battle mm -hmm. when i was in school this is great when i was in class i would very often sit there and go through the alligator right <laughs> or before classes or in between the breaks you know different, i'm like sitting there going through the alligator. but now it's a different time yeah. i feel like most people yeah. aren't doing that anymore no. they're doing this yeah right so I'm not getting the attention that I was getting 10 years ago when people used to just sit there and go through the alligator. It's just not there. Like, sorry, alligator. Actually, it might be better for me to advertise like buymyscooter.com on something like that versus new scooters for us, so I don't know. So I've got great news. Today's yes. gonna be way better than yesterday. Woo! Trust me, it's gonna be better. I just know, I can feel it. Okay. We are expecting more helmets to come in, right? We did order more. Yep. Hopefully they show up today. 
<laughs> the helmet show up today, we know it's going to be a great day. <laughs> Sorry about it. All right. It is going to be a great day. Um, but in the meantime, guys, the customers, they have to choose from what's available. Yeah. All right. We can't have people signing a pledge and leaving without a helmet. Yeah. So they need a, if, they, if they're getting a helmet, they need to choose from what we have available. Mold seven available. You can give them whatever. Like, there's more than seven up there. We have three See? quarters. There's, That's the three quarters. There's a bunch. You can give them any of those. Any of this full cash. Just don't give them the $300 Vespa helmets. We definitely need to make sure that anybody who stops by today for a walk-in service gets communicated that it's not going to be 30 minutes. Please understand we're in rush week. Minimum of a couple hours. Okay. That's minimum. Okay. I would use the word minimum. <laughs> Austin was editing the vlog and said that it really comes across really well and the parents really, really like Like he could see it on their faces. The parents really like it when we're high-fiving the parents too. So when like we're high-five, high-five, we're giving the, the students saying congrats on your scooter, thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, when we made that round, and it was on Friday night, we made that round and we like gave all the parents high fives too. You could, you could tell like they were really enthusiastic about it and really liked it. So make sure you're thanking the parents too because the chances are they're the ones actually paying for the scooter. <laughs> um, so it'd be nice just to give them a little props as well. Thank you guys very, very much. I'm excited about the rest of the week. I'm excited for helmets to come in. Yes. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Stretch circle. Yeah. Dante. Please. Stretch circle. Yeah. We are. What? 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 Feels like Maddie says it doesn't drive the same that it did before it got loaded in the truck and hauled up here. So I'll go find this gear. I'll have somebody drive it unless something is obviously wrong with it. Okay. I'll go from there. Thank you. I'll get some coffee. Yes, it's done. Okay. Yeah, that's awesome. Thank you. Oh man, they weren't lying. Wait, it'll turn here, line, as soon as it gets to center. Uh, the, when I pulled it in here, the steering was completely like intact. Like I don't think there was any damage or anything. But like it felt like the cables were really like bound. I got in here and freed some of it up, so it's definitely like better. But there's still like a, a grind here, and I don't see where it's really like. all the time. Looks like it's been hardwired on the right like, So he's gonna button that up for me. Nice of him. I can move on to the next thing. I know the other one I had on my list was a customer who she had some service recently with us, but like she just put her key in and it broke off inside the ignition. And so it's another one where it's like, okay, this could either be an hour or two hour job, or it could literally be as easy as just taking some needle nose pliers and pulling her key out because she has a spare. And I'd hate for it to sit here for a week and find out that it just needed right. somebody to with a little bit of ability to, you know, pull something out, so. Oh, yeah, it's, it's in there. So the repair went from how much to how much? Yeah, it just office. depends. Like, now, <laughs> it went from free. Yeah. Because theoretically, I mean, like I said, she spent a little bit of money with us recently. If all I had to do was just take, take it out, I probably wouldn't charge her for it. Um, to, there's still a wide range of outcomes. The, the locksmith, I'm sure they probably deal with stuff like this. This isn't their first time. It could still be expensive or he could have a really easy tool for it. I mean, I don't really know. Um, so it still could be cheap or, I mean, it, it, it won't be more expensive than labor on an ignition replacement. Um, she'd be looking at at least 200 bucks on that. Well, this was the emergency pickup that Dante had last night. It was an emergency. He gets out there and it's down on the side stand, which has the kill switch in it. So he brings it back. We flip the side stand up. Starts right up. 
it's gonna happen. We just have to, and it falls on us. We have to educate the customer better. Yeah. I mean, these customers are brand new. They don't know if they have the side stand down. It's not gonna start. So we have to, we have to educate the customer better to, to prevent to prevent our driver from having to go out and waste his time. And it's brand new, right? It's our scooter. 12, 12 miles, yeah. We didn't charge anything for the pickup. It's no. brand new. Picked it up. Emergency pickup. Picked it up like that day. Brought it back in. I mean, we're gonna just send somebody out to take a drive on it, just make sure everything checks out all right, and uh, give her a call and have her pick it up. So what are we doing right now? We're getting to old deposits that are coming today, or or new deposits that yeah, are. Yeah, I mean, the mirror says 818. <laughs> Apparently, they wanted a few days earlier. Yeah. It would be to your benefit just to give us a heads up. And to ours. Just give us a phone call and say, hey, I would like to pick up my scooter today, put a deposit on it a few weeks ago or whatever it was. My name is so-and-so. That way, we can just go ahead and have it prepped and ready versus trying to pull it out from the back of a row and they're here to, to get it, you know? Yeah. So just give us, give us, giving us as much as time as possible. Yeah. If you tell us that you're going to be here on the 16th, we want to be here on the 16th. Because what do we have to do for people who we've already prepped it for and haven't picked it up yet? We got to run it every day. And um, not every day, but it's just something that we got. It would be better for them to keep. I mean, you want the gas to be as fresh as possible. You don't want one with two week gas in it. Yeah. You told us that you're coming on the 6th of August and then you actually come on the 18th of August. That's not to your benefit. Yeah. Because your, your scooter's gonna have two week old gas in it. So you want me to tell Justin to hold off on the order and just said. I mean, like, I don't, don't want to receive an order to go over there. So unless they want to be here at 8 a.m., they want to leave. He just said before clear. lunch. Tell me, the, uh, tell me the time. I don't have the, the time to assemble. I still gotta get it. I still gotta get the one scooter here. We'll ship the one scooter. Right. We'll ship it free. I don't want. I don't want these guys spending their time assembling scooters. Just because oh, I'm just saying, just because we have them doesn't mean they even have to be assembled. Like I'm just saying, what, what's logistically what makes the most sense? Where are you gonna put them? Where were we gonna put 58 genuine, but we found a way. I just, you know. So I would suggest them waking up at 5 a.m. and getting here by 8 a.m. So we can unload it before we open. I would even be willing to give their driver a little extra money, a $50 tip to do that. Because it would just be a hell of a convenient to us. They've done it before. He and Diana themselves drove a truckload of scooters up here on a Friday night at midnight one night. Like, don't do it. Squeaky wheel gets the grease. <laughs> Wolf's gonna have that container do it by 8 a.m. Yeah. Uh, test drive it, test drive it. Actually, He's like, it's cause I'm a hustler, so you're a squeaky uh, wheel. It's <laughs> a nice bike, by the way. I don't know if you want to three, but. We also have like a, an online marketplace called buymyscooter.com, which is essentially a, a Craigslist just for the Gainesville scooter market. Uh, so you can do free listings on that and kind of do a, a swap, you know, yeah, with other people that live in yeah. the area. So if I were to buy just a, a scooter, like a, a used scooter from someone else, mm -hmm. there wouldn't be like, would I be able to bring it here for service? Yeah, you can absolutely service it here. I'll tell you that, um, but buying a scooter from us, you get free pickups and deliveries for as long as you own the scooter. So nice. if anything, you know, goes wrong, you break down, nice. we can actually go pick it up for you. So if we bought this right now and we needed it delivered, yeah, like I like we can't get it right now. Like you guys can just deliver it to my spot. Exactly. How um, um, long does it take to do the servicing? Half an hour. I mean, right right now this time of year. I mean, it does. It's not super busy in here now, but um, they're they're first come first serve. But you don't have to have an appointment. So Jared, you do you then go to Publix for half an hour and you come back? And yeah. You Oh, absolutely. I mean, and then we have we have bean bags and coffee bar and Wi-Fi. So if he's got an assignment to crank out, I mean, it's oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah. All right. So let's. It's a pretty. That's cool. the one you want. Okay. Thanks. We'll get you started on it. Sure. One, two, three. How are we doing? One o'clock. Eight sales. So far. So, so far so good. 
I think we've got a little calm, which is actually kind of awkward for this time of day. So it's kind of nice. Got calm at lunch, which never happens. So thank you. Take advantage of it. Yeah, so everybody's grabbing a bite to eat. Got some Adam's ribs in the house for lunch today. Helmets! My dog! <laughs> Like you think that's enough helmets? For this weekend? Do you think it's enough helmets to do the weekend? You want on it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. That's what <laughs> Hannah and I are on the same page. <laughs> I'm just thinking, like, if we order, I'm just saying, if we order them, like, they'll get here Friday. So I just want to, like... It might be. Uh, I just know don't want to run out of here. I don't know. I mean, I don't, I don't know if I can have my tech assembling helmets this time of year. Huh? What helmets? <laughs> Dog <Assembling> in here. <laughs> he tries so hard to be funny. <laughs> he tries so hard to be salty. Make sure that gets in the vlog. <laughs> What's up? Matt, have you driven a scooter before? Have you driven a scooter before? I have. Okay, beautiful. All right, so. A little, so we're gonna ring the bell for you. We're gonna take a quick picture with you. Do a quick shot glass. You wanna ring the bell? Yeah, you wanna okay. ring it? I wanna ring it. Yeah, go for it. Hey, Carl. Like, is there a limited amount of time that you can ring it? You can ring it however many times you want. That was excellent. Right. Thank you. That was professional bell ringing. Uh, All right, ready? One, two, three! Ring yeah. Awesome, thank you guys. How are we doing? Good. It's a little mellow right now. I'm trying to get caught up on some services. We got like a belt, a tire. They're trying to get approved. That's said been like, man, we really need to focus on trying to get things pre-approved. Like when somebody says, I have a flat tire, and we see a nail sitting, sitting in the tire, we need to say, okay, it's going to cost this, 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 and this, you know, whatever it is. Try to give them a rough estimate, so that way we can just go ahead and do it. Because right now, I don't have an approval on the work, and I need to... <laughs> get products moving or get service going but if I can't get a hold of the customer it slows things down. So I want I just want to fix the person's tire but I can't because I can't get a hold of them. The point is it's on the lift. It'd, it'd be great to do this now but if we can't get a hold of the customer guess what? We gotta clean this all up. We gotta pull it off the lift. It's more time, more labor. If we want to get things approved we want to get it done. Put a new belt on and be done. A little bit more mellow today. Not as much chaos. I mean, there's, it's been a nice, even kill. Not too much, not too little. Whiskey! Whiskey! We need helmets. <laughs> when Brad placed this order, I had to talk him into getting a couple more pearls because I was like, man, they're gonna go fast. And now I think we're down to one medium. I'm starting to be like, no, no, don't you want black? Like, don't you want pink to match your scooter? One, two, three. Whiskey! Whiskey! Awesome! All right, so 6 p.m. wrapping up the day, but now it's time to like prepare for tomorrow. The team has been doing an excellent job of grabbing things that aren't already sold from back here in order to keep the showroom full, which I like. We need to get that assembled because that's sold. Got a deposit on that. I got a couple deposits in the office I gotta go look at. I need to get a blue RX50 and that white Sprint. I'm gonna have to move all this crap There's to get it though. 20 wolves coming in tomorrow. 20 wolves coming in tomorrow. Now I'm gonna put all these in front of these now that I have it all organized. So that way, when this, I need to show up at eight, I'll know the scooters, pop them in, yeah. put those back, done. What's happening tomorrow? Um, tomorrow morning. I don't have to get here as early as I thought. Just good. Um, I'll be here at eight to unload a bunch of wolf scooters that are coming in. We just had an influx of particular colors, specifically white RX50. Plus, we had we had a guy who ordered a scooter that we don't have, which he was super nice about it. He was. It, it's a model that we just decided to carry, not carry because it just hasn't sold really well for us here. And plus, we're obviously super limited in terms of the amount of space we have in our showroom. So we have to be very choosy about which models that and brands that we carry. But he was like, he's like, I can get this scooter from Orlando, and 
where he was at, like near Tampa. He's like, I get the scooter and I can bring it with me, but I want to buy from you guys, which is really awesome to hear. But we had to special order it because it was something that we didn't have. And it was, uh, we were like, well, if we have to order one scooter from Wolf, we might as well get more of everything that's been selling. So that was kind of the conversation that's been taking place because I have so many scooters already that I want to sell those first, not necessarily order more. <laughs> but since we're getting his scooter special ordered, we're getting a few more scoots. Those are coming in at 8 a.m. and I'll be here to unload that truck and start another busy day. The last practice day before the weekend. <laughs> that's right, right there. Let's make sure they get in the right folder. Thanks, man. So that's it for today. See ya.